shit. We are talking about the horror movie Delirium. Now, just to confuse matters, there's two 2018 horror movies called Delirium. One stars Topher Grace. This is not that one. This one is directed by Johnny Martin. And it's an odd mix of kind of found footage and the traditional style of camera work. And at its core, this is a haunted house movie. So the plot synopsis is as follows. We have a group of, I guess you'll call them frat boys. Uh, these kind of like young adults, late teens, and they're basically pulling a prank on this kind of young initiate and making him go and kind of up to this porch of this very kind of scary looking house. And there's a variety of urban legends that surround this house in regards to spooky shenanigans and such. However, there appears to be some truth to this kind of story, and there may well have been this massacre of these 13 children by perhaps even one of their parents, obviously in years past. So they sent this kind of guy up to this house and they kind of, he didn't come back so they had to kind of try and find him. So a small group of these lads have to go up to the house through these kind of woods and try and find him obviously until get him back. When they get to the house, uh, they, there's no sign of him um, apart from the camera on the floor. Go into the house and obviously spooky shenanigans start to happen. So that's where we'll stop with the plot synopsis of Delirium. So let's talk about what works and what doesn't work. So let's talk about the strange decision to have it part found footage and a kind of part traditional style camera work. Because uh, it's an odd choice, if we're honest, because you can never really um, buy into it as a found footage film because you have all these traditional camera angles and stuff like that. And at the same time, you think, why are they bothering having found footage if they if a lot of it is shot in the kind of traditional angles? It's an odd choice of a mix between the two. So it kind of pulls you out of it a little bit. Um, I actually think this movie would have been benefited from it not being a fan footage. I think this style of movie kind of uh, would benefit from that. But I feel the reason why it has sequences that are fan footage is to really kind of uh, have that kind of kinetic feel and be able to kind of cut away from kind of reveals and kind of ghostly sightings very quickly. So you only ever see the kind of like glimpses and stuff like that. Uh, so it's an odd choice. Um, I mean, it's kind of slightly unique, I would say. But at the same time, I don't feel it works necessarily as a kind of a, a great storytelling narrative because you can never really get settled in one way or the other. What does work for me is uh, the actual location shooting here is fantastic. Rarely have I seen such a creepy and very spooky uh, set. This house looks great. The exteriors of this house look fantastic coming in through these kind of like spooky looking woods looks great when we kind of see this kind of like this gothic manner it looks truly stupendous in all its spooky glory that all looked great it's maybe a little bit too uh, clean and tidy for an abandoned house but nitpicking uh, I actually think the acting isn't too bad either uh, so we have these guys that are meant to be these kind of like, like I guess groups of like frat boy friends and stuff and they do genuinely seem like a group of friends and how they would kind of converse with each other. There are also a few occasions when they, when they talk over each other and you, you do sometimes struggle to hear what they're saying because they're all kind of talking at once when they're arguing. But nonetheless, I do feel the acting is fairly strong in, in for the most part and they do give genuine performances uh, when they're scared and when they're kind of obviously having these kind of like um, conversations with each other. All feel very, very genuine. And I've got to say, this movie does have a great sense of kind of growing tension and kind of this, this kind of like building of the kind of the fear. It has good use of kind of music. Um, again, it's not choice if you're a found footage film if you're having music in it, but there you go. Um, so that was all quite good. What doesn't work is some of the writing here, I feel, is on the weaker side and just has some very kind of like slap your head moments and when, when they get to the house and they, they, there's a light on no one thinks to call out for the kind of the missing the missing uh, lad the missing boy no one even bothers trying to calling out for him 
uh, you know, when they start, you know, you get a few kind of like glimpses of different kind of ghosts and things. You know, when it says anything to anyone else, and uh, and there's one point where something happens to uh, kind of one of the kind of the, the these guys, and they just seem to abandon him. I mean, at this point, I'm not sure if they really know that we don't know as an audience whether the characters don't really know if there's something spooky going on or if it's just kind of a prank. But they literally just abandon this one guy, uh, and oh, he must be dead. Why? Why are you? Why would you say that? Anyway, so so I had a bit of a problem with some of the writing here, and um, when we actually see the ghosts, I've got to say there was a, it was a little bit disappointing. They are just people, so they look they just look like people, maybe with a bit of kind of like makeup on, uh, and you never really get the kind of the feeling that they're, that they're particularly incorporeal. There's a couple of neat tricks that they do in regarding kind of like the fan footage angle, so. You'll see, you'll see the people in the, in the, through the camera, but not in real life, etc. But I just don't think the actual reveal of these kind of these ghosts look particularly kind of like ominous, really. They just kind of look like people. There's a couple of shots here and there where they do a couple of camera tricks, which makes them look a little bit more spooky. And kind of, you'll see like this woman in black kind of slowly walking towards the camera a few times, and that looks quite good. But for a lot of the times, I feel oh, all this kind of this great kind of spooky build up and then kind of leads to kind of like a, oh, that was kind of a little bit disappointing when you when we actually see the ghost. So, you know, before that point, you, you, you only see a few flashes and a few kind of like background images. That works really well. But when we see them, I've got to say it was a little bit disappointing. And I think the, the uh, they maybe reveal themselves as a couple of, I guess you would call it small twists throughout the film. But they kind of reveal maybe a little bit too early and tip their hat to what's going to kind of happen. Um, you know, so you can ultimately guess where the movie will end up going. Overall, though, it's a relatively low budget movie. I think it's, the budget was around a kind of a million dollars or so. So I gotta say, it does work well for a great sense of atmosphere. I think the performances are quite strong. Um, you know, with these guys, and they do genuinely seem like the kind of the characters that they'll be playing. So that I quite liked. The 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 actual prologues. It has a bit of a prologue sequence actually. And I didn't think that particularly worked well either, if I'm honest. It just kind of like seemed to come out of nowhere. And it does have a couple of neat ideas of the thing with the kind of a photograph that was quite fun. Um, but I don't know, it, it's uneven film ultimately. But it, it, it was interesting. It did help hold my interest. It made me slap my head a few times, maybe not literally, but metaphorically, with some frustrating writing. But it was still kind of a, fu a fun movie to watch if you kind of like a kind of a low budget haunted house movie. I don't know if I'd agree with it, you know, the filmmakers and their decision to go half found footage and half kind of not. I think that was a bit of a mistake, but I think you'd enjoy it for like a good haunted house movie. I'll give it a six out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me comments and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>